punch and wine for the ladies Potatoes, cakes and was begging and table There was a Nolans and Dolans of Gaddy's Cutting the girls and dancing away Hello Hello, welcome to Four Quarters, welcome home Thank you <laughs> Alright, let's look inside here This beautiful jewelry they have This is the lobby where you check in. Got some meat and some wine. You've, you've heard of anything yet, or is this all? Yes, you told me about the mother stone. So the, the mother st stone, the first stone that went up was the stone to the left. Okay. And uh, most of the the origin of most of these stones is Western Maryland, uh, up in a, a little town called Grantsville. There's a quarry, and uh, this is where most of these stones were transported to on site here. They have a stone yard when you come in. Okay. But not in a not too distant future, they put in the mother stone, and that is like that is the pagan baptism. Uh, the father stands on the backside of the stone, passes their, their child through the hole, and the mother receives the uh, the child on the other side. Uh -huh. And I just spoke with a man who went through that hole as a baby, Aww. and he's still here. You know, wow! He talked about the circle and his part in. in uh, now he erects stones, you know. Now that things are going to now. So the circle is basically not a circle, but an oval. Elongated, or it's about a. Uh, I'm not going to say it's a 580 ellipse, but it's it is elliptical in, in its geometry. And this circle that's being created here now is called the Cope C O P S E. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a, a, a microcosm within the macrocosm. Okay. We'll talk about it. In now, is this somewhat sort of like Stonehenge? Uh, no, would you it, say, it's or? not the same. Uh, Stonehenge was built with a different intention. Uh, but the, as, as you experience coming in, there is an energy that is created within the... Yeah, I the, definitely uh, felt the energy is like going into a sacred area. Yeah. That's how know. I describe it. And it's even more wonderful when we have ceremony in here, so it just ups the, uh, the frequency. So what is, what is the intention of this stone circle, would you say, to summarize it? Community? There's, yeah, there's, there's a sense of community, but it's, it's basically a... It becomes a point of, of energy coming in and out of the earth. It becomes like a, a focal point. Uh, like a portal type yeah, energy. It, it, you're actually, you're creating an energetic portal. Yeah. And the the outcome of that depends on the original intention. That's an important factor. Okay. Uh, different circles were created with different intentions, so you're going to have a little bit different results. Yeah. But this uh, the visionary. Is this here. your cup by chance? Oh yeah, I'm gonna. I'm Are you gonna... good? You good? The visionary here. His his original vision was to build a sense of community based on on ancient systems. And being a, a wonderful man who has mechanical engineering background, he had not only the skill sets but the vision combined. And then people began to come here, and they they were remembering. Uh, in their DNA, uh -huh. uh, these these primal ways that we we create community with each other, and uh, it became a communal effort instead of an individual. 
And his name was, uh, what's his name? Oren. 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 Okay. And he's still around. Yeah, in fact, he's sitting on that, uh, that ATV over there. Oh, okay. He's a wow. Manor and chief. <laughs> he's the chief. The chief of the you know, village. As, as most things like this begin, the seed thought is important, but oftentimes it sprouts and becomes something that you couldn't even imagine. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the beauty of it. It says we're only asked to take one initial step, and then the the energy and the material, the, the medium, and, and all the the different features begin to co. They interact with one another and become something far greater than we could ever just. But this is where all the ceremonies are done primarily. Sometimes they're done around the drum circle uh, and down in the sweat lodge area, but this is a dominant ceremonial feature here. We have one, two, I think it's three altars for different ceremonies. What, what kind of stone is this? Uh, this is a meta sedimentary stone. Uh, they're, all those dark colors are iron inclusions. And uh, this is actually a, a fossilized seabed. You can see the current waves through the uh, through the stone, it used to be sand, and it you know it began to solidify and became hmm. a fossil stone. And you will find other fossils. So, is fossil this well. stone rich in quartz, or have any quartz in it? Quartzite. Uh, yeah, it has a bunch of silica in it. Yes. In fact, that's the dominant and here in quality. They're not considered uh, sedimentary stone or layered as much as it is a meta sedimentary. Meta sedimentary means a combination of metamorphic uh, geology and sedimentary geology. So it's a little stronger. It's not gonna fall apart, is what I'm saying. Yeah. And of course the iron, you can see the iron lines in here. The iron also becomes an adhesive that keeps the stone from delaminating coming apart. Do you remember what kind of stones they used in Stonehenge? Isn't it granite, I think, or? I'm not familiar with the exact composition. In fact, an update on, on Stonehenge is actually, uh, they have test equipment now. They've retested, for instance, the altar, uh -huh. the Stonehenge. And they used to think it came uh, from Wales. Yeah. It's like uh, 150, 200 miles away. Yeah, I heard that. And now they understand that that source stone was in northern Scotland, five or 600 miles wow. away. Wow. So that gives you a sense of what cooperation was required mm -hmm. to transport stone five or 600 miles. You know. It might have taken them hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of years just to build it. And lots of people. <laughs> So imagine this has taken 30 years to build, how, how much time it took Stonehenge to build. I'm uncertain. I, I don't think anyone knows. No. Certain. And some people even predate and they think Stonehenge is even older than what other, the, some of the scientists and archaeologists think. And Could Stonehenge be. was made in such a way the intention was to, for alignment with the four seasons, as the spring equinox and the fall equinox. This does not hold that particular quality. Like mm -hmm. there's not an alignment, say, with the mother stone where the sunlight shines through it. Right. And again, it's, that's not the intention. So that's, that's how intentions will actually change the nature and the energy of the circle. Wow. So thanks for talking to me, Lee. I sure. appreciate that. Absolutely. Stop, straighten your line out.
by the people on my side. Are you clear of the sound? Yes. 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 So you're safe to pull back. You are not going to walk as you jam. Okay, what's dangerous here is if you get caught between the rope and an immovable object, it'll cut you in half. Seriously, you'll lose a limb. Okay, so you don't want to get between the rope and a tree or the rope and, and a stone or anything else. There's an incredible amount of tension on these ropes. Okay, are we ready for a pull? Yes. I think, I think you can do it. We're looking for maybe 50 feet. Okay? Give us a good pull. Let's go! Hey, thanks for watching my video about Four Quarters. I thought it was a really awesome place. And if you want to visit, I'm going to have the link below. You can check out the website and all their different events that they have throughout the year. Um, so please like and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. I'm going to be doing a few more videos that are really interesting. So you want to check them out. Thanks. Bye.